The genus Rhodophiola is uh, one of many genus in the uh, Amaryllid family uh, with Lycoris, Crinums, rain lilies, etc. And basically what Rhodophiola is, is a, it's a dwarf hippiastrum. So it's the plant people know is, uh, is garden amaryllis, which is actually not an amaryllis at all. And these are basically miniatures. This is as tall as they get, about 10 inches. Uh, these are native to uh, Argentina. Uh, really quite amazing. The color ranges from pinks to reds. This is an old-fashioned plant that uh, has been passed along in Texas for many years, selected for just great garden quality. This is one called Hill Country Red. I'd say 99% of the rhodophiolas you see sold in the U.S. are this cultivar. So they come up generally out of the ground in mid-August, and you're going to have several bulbs in each, and they just flower uh, for several weeks, maybe even a month, depending on how many bulbs you have. Uh, really quite incredible. And then they disappear and the foliage comes up right with the, uh, uh, the flower stalks. And when you finish, you can just leave them alone. They'll drop a few seed in place and come up, but not enough to, to ever be a, an issue in the garden. And if you only have one clone, they will not set viable seed. So you have to have more than one, not more than one plant, but more than one clone. So these are all clonal. This is one single individual just divided many times. Uh, Rhodophiolas grow in light shade to full sun. So anything in between, they're fabulous. They bloom just as well in light, open, filtered shade as they do in sun. So to have this pop up almost out of nowhere, middle of summer, is just pretty darn amazing. Now they vary in color. And so if you do have more than one or want to get seed set, you will get a color range that ranges into these beautiful pinks. This is uh, sort of the carmine pink form. And then let's look at a few more. So here we've, we've gone through for years and we've selected different colors. So instead of the, the red we saw earlier, you can see that these vary tremendously. And when you grow them from seed, it's, it's really quite amazing. Whoops. The diversity that you get. And then the really interesting stuff, let me just uh, go a little further. We can get some really incredible colors and some that are almost black. So it really is an amazing, amazing group. And one that, like I say, once you have more than one clone, you're going to get seed and you can grow and get some really incredible colors. So a fun, easy to grow plant, uh, certainly hardy from zone 7B south. I don't think it's going to go a whole lot further north, but they're easy to grow in containers. Uh, they grow great through the winter, uh, dry them off in spring when they uh, go dormant and disappear because they are spring dormant. But what an amazing little treat to, uh, it's one of those happy plants, you know, it goes out in the middle of summer, uh, you see this wonderful flower, it makes you smile after a hard day. So I hope you'll explore the genus Rhodophiola. And these are all the species bifida, I should add. There are other species that are really a lot more difficult to grow. This is the easy one. You want something, uh, once you master this and you want to challenge, try some of the other Chilean species that are much more difficult in our summer climates. Thank you very much.